Oh man. Bruh. I No. I mean, what do I even say, Cosmic? What do I even say to this episode? Is, is, I still a sister skin to Spandle. Hair is overrated, KG. You're right. Let me go get my shaver real quick. <laughs> Just shave off my hair. <laughs> KG, can you go back to when Ash remembers all the Pokemon he had to say goodbye to? Uh, sure. Uh, I can do that. All right. Let me open this shit up again. I think it's closed for you guys on stream, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go back again. Let's, let's, let's find that scene. I hope I find it first try. Oh, the straw. That's right over here. Poll is live. Go ahead and cast your votes on how you felt about this episode. There it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no, that just disappeared. Okay, there we go. Let's see. All right, let's take a look at all the released mods. We got... We got... I never realized Ash caught the pink Butterfree. What the hell? Yeah, what? But I do love that the Butterfree has the scarf, though. That's yeah. actually adorable. That's actually adorable. The Lapras, the Pidgeot, the Larvitar, the Squirtle. Although Squirtle is always much of a mystery to me because I can never tell. Uh, Primeape, Gudra, everyone's favorite boy. Well, Ignore the monkey. Gekoga. Well, at least now we know officially this thing is considered released and not necessarily kept with Ash. Yeah. So we know I like that the now. The Ambipom is now like they're just ignoring the fact that Dawn has it. Yeah, no, right. But, but it's been released. I guess that's why. I yeah, but he it was it's not his Pokemon anymore. He traded it for a much better Pokemon for him, being Best Boy Weasel. Oh no no no! We're not denying that. We're just only acknowledging the ones that have been released canonically in the series so far by yeah, the main yeah. cast because he's not technically released in the wild he just belongs to some dude which by the way is in the same city that ash and go have been for 50 percent of the series and they've yeah. never run into each other J -j just keep that in mind chat just keep that in mind oh did i keep saying he i'm sorry i meant to say she i apologize i apologize on that uh but also Naganadal's right there as well who also has the nice little, uh, you can see right there, the uh, little Guardians thing. It yeah. Has, that's actually a nice detail there. Well, of course, it makes sense that people who worked on the series prior would remember this. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, man. That The reason why there's no Nebby here is because Nebby is still canonically caught by Ash. That's why he mm -hmm. showed up in that dream sequence. It's just that, just like goes Suicune, Nebby can do whatever it wants to out in the wild. It doesn't need to be tied with Ash all the time. Ash caught it. It's just doing whatever it wants in other dimensions. But it's still canonically his. So that way, nobody can catch that Solgaleo with a Pokemon. Canonically, so yeah. Okay, with that being said, I hate this episode. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't hate it for the fact that this episode was bad. Or horrendous. I mean, it had faults, yes. My biggest issue with this episode that makes me hate it so much is that this episode was the second to last episode. That's the. This is the screaming definition of an episode at the wrong place at the wrong time. This sort of episode should have been used way, way earlier. This would have been. A very wonderful remind, especially because Journeys is trying to be that series that is representing the world and all that. This would have been a nice tease to get people excited for what these characters could go through to then, you know, bring back up at a later point. But these moments like this and the reason why it all like I also would not have such much fault with it either with this episode if, you know the trio actually were around for almost the whole series, but they were never. Like, Koharu is making, like, she thinks she's part of the main cast. It's like that whole, why is Blood thinking she's part of the main team kind of thing. Like, that stupid meme. That That's basically Koharu and Eevee in this series. I, I, it frustrates me. Because once again, 
when you see episodes like this, when you see these characters interact like this, there's a genuine form of emotion that one could gain from it. It just sucks that the moment that we get to see these characters actually have an opportunity to be together in such a way like this is at the very end of the series and not something that they could have done early, early on. So, yeah, I'm bummed out by that. It's really unfortunate. I really like... L let me be clear. I, I mentioned this before. Yeah, that's the one right there. Who invited my man, Blood? Bro, thinks he's on the team. That's a Kohara right there. That is legitimately Koharu in this goddamn show. And that pisses so would me you off, too. say that your ranking is a no, or it's Journeys, so no? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, technically, it is Journey's fault for doing this. Yeah. But at the same time, this was like... If I viewed this episode for what it is, at least the first half of it, it was still really solid. I really liked the first, like, 75% of the episode. And then the 25% just decided to just rush it all because they realized, oh, shit, we're running out of time. <laughs> I... I don't know how to feel about this proper, honestly. I think... Yeah, the Emma was also very weird, too. You could yeah, have put what? more focus on other things. Like, you saw how Ashes was quick as hell? Yeah. That was... That should have been Ghost's portion. It didn't need to... It could have been focused... You know what? It should have focused on Ghost Pokemon. Like, that would have been nice. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm so indecisive with this one. I really am. On one side, I really like some of the things I saw in this episode. In the other portion, I'm not certain how to feel about this episode because of the way it's being structured and where it's being placed in the series of Pokemon. That, to me, is my uh, big concern with this thing. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, what about you, Emmy, or Cosmic? Whichever you guys want to go first for this one. Uh, maybe you guys have an opinion that might be different from mine that maybe could change things a little bit better for me in terms of an idea behind no or it's journey, so no. <laughs> I mean, we'll pass it to you first then, buddy. Do you have anything you would like to say? It sucked. I don't like it. <laughs> it's just it's not good. Wow. Like, I wanted to watch this. Like, here's the thing, though. There's like, yeah, I agree. There's bits. In, it's very conflicting because there's bits and pieces that I found really, like, nice. But then... It's just like, why now? Why am I getting this now? And I completely agree with it, what you said as well. It's just like, what, what, what is the storytelling of this series? I don't understand it because we see them like the trio all together, right? This is what we should have been seeing from the very beginning, but we have it. And then Go's also saying too, like, oh, like I want to travel to different regions. What, what have you been doing? You've been doing that this entire time. Are we just not, are we just going to ignore that? What? And also, you mean, their enjoy whole the whole fight premise scene. of the show? <laughs> exactly! And then their whole fight was like literally 30 seconds. I think they just tried to fit so much into this episode that the overall narrative for just this specific episode made absolutely no sense. I don't understand what the point of having a go flashback was. Like, ever, as I was watching that, I'm like, why do I care? What, what exactly is making me care about this from the way they've been treating go this entire series? What exactly happened? Like, Especially even the the fact that he said too, like, oh, like, I used to be left home alone. That was a whole, like, thing for him in the beginning, too, because that's how he bonded with um, Intellion as well, or just uh, with, like, Sobble from the beginning, too, because they had very similar personality traits, and that was a whole thing. They never went into detail about that, and that was how many episodes ago, and now they're bringing kind of, like, that subject back up again. It's like, why do I care? I don't! Just... Why? And now they're making this a two episode? I don't care. I really don't. I don't. I don't care about this this series anymore. I, to be honest, I stopped caring a long time ago. I think the nicest part about this episode was the little Ash sequences we got. And even that felt like very short and just like thrown in there too. So I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so frustrated with just the series in general. I just, I don't know why they're continuing, continuing it. Because it still feels... I feel like they should have just ended it off with Ash winning, and that's it. Like, if I had my perfect way of doing this, is they would have had the Project Mew stuff first, and then the Masters 8 tournament, and then the last episode would just be Ash winning, and that's it. Like, I feel like we're going back into something. We're going back into a story that was ne never established in the first place. 
And I think that's my biggest issue with this episode, is they're trying to establish, they're going back to an, a quote-unquote established story, but really, is it? No, it's not. Half of this stuff, they're really just making up. It's now convenient to put for them because they have nothing else. So no, I don't like this episode. I don't, but it's conflicting because there's parts that are cute. Ah! Oh! Oh! I just want my soul back! That's all I want! <laughs> Does anyone have my soul? <laughs> no. It's, it's probably somewhere in the Lugia raid. You'll probably get it by Plus, tomorrow. Oh! Shipping. Oh, my <laughs> lordy. Well, thank you for your input on that one, buddy. Appreciate oh, no it. Problem. No problem. Cosmic? What about you, buddy? You have anything you'd like to contribute to? Yeah, there's only one person who won in this episode. And who? that was Polly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're not wrong about that. Yeah, yeah. you're not she, uh, you know like, what's the funniest this episode, thing? This episode just sucks, man. You know what's the yeah, funniest I, I thing? I humor. What is it? It, it? Polly, not too long ago, remember she was in a stream and she was asking, when was the last time a Polly was in a, in an episode of Pokemon? Oh, well, she got it. She got her episode, yeah, wish, bro. There we go. <laughs> and the preview with Giovanni. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's true. And Quaxley, mm. too. And Quaxley. And Polly Toad was even in the credits. Mm-hmm. This, so you got the Polly Wag, you got the Polly Whirl, you got the Polly Toad. Mm hmm Yep, yep. This was a Polly episode. And it was Slice of Life. Uh. But, uh, I, uh, well, if I had to pick your ranking for this poll prediction <laughs> thing, I would say it's a no for me because it's Journeys. Journeys, yeah. again, ruined the placement. Journeys again gave us the hopes of a potential trio that never happened and gave us a vision of what could have been and uh, that sucks you know it really sucks it was nice finally seeing interaction between Ash and, uh, and Chloe and it didn't didn't happen at like any other time in the series when, mm. which would have been nice considering she was even there for the world championships she was one of his <laughs> Two friends that were there. Yep. <laughs> and Dawn disappeared too. Yeah, but no, it was just her. But, uh, like, I mean, as a whole, the episode was cute. It was wholesome. The Abra thing, I, like, I was just like, it was annoying me. I thought it was boring, I, unnecessary. Abra's not my favorite Pokemon. I don't understand what relevance it had to the episode because it didn't seem to happen. They could have gone with a cuter Pokemon. Next time, a Snubble. Let's go with a Snubble. But, yeah. you know... But we're in Kanto, though. Uh, well, it, it... Okay, fine. Go with any other Pokemon that's cute <laughs> from Kanto. How about a Vulpix? Aw, oh, dude, that would have hurt my soul. No, man, that would have yeah, been too we much. Had, we had Growlithe. They could have had it. It's, uh... Yeah, they did have it, Growly. You're right, you're right. But, uh... Yeah, my episode was... It, in my opinion, it was disappointing. But you want to know how the community felt? Let's go to them. That's, oh that's no, what, what did they say? That's what everybody wants. So I will start with Twitch. So on Twitch, there was a <clears throat> low amount of voting for the first time in a while. Uh, with two people finding it to be amazing. Two people finding it to be bad. Five people thinking it was, a, it was okay, it was a good episode. And overwhelmingly with 11 people voting at mid. Damn. Yeah. Then we have Discord. And Discord, well, you know. They're mad. Next week, well, not necessarily. It's kind of all over the place. Nobody voted that it was a terrible episode. So, there, but it was overwhelmingly that it was a bad episode. In fact, one person in this in current conversation even voted that this was a bad episode. Shout out to Pika with no snow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible. It's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, eight people voted bad. Three or three people voted mid. Four people voted good, and one person voted that it was an amazing episode. Um, one person voted coaxly. <laughs> uh, and then, well, this is this is where where things get interesting. All right. Twitter. All right. What well, what you got? You know, normally we get anywhere between like sixty to seventy votes per poll. We got thirty. 
We got Damn. 30. We got half what we normally get. It just sh- that just shows you Twitter did not care. And I also want to just make it known that when I went on Twitter today, I normally get some form of spoilers when I log into Twitter. All right? And make these polls. I got no spoilers. The only spoiler I got today was that Quaxley was in it. Well, I already knew he was going to be in it. So that wasn't much of a spoiler to me. But that was it. Nobody cared about this episode. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that being said, overwhelmingly, people voted this that it was a great episode. People really liked it. Hi. I don't know. Okay. Uh, no, 51. once again, there are things in this episode that makes me not like go out of my way to say it was bad because it's not bad. There are many things about this episode I like. It's just, god damn, it frustrates me because of that. It's frustrating. Absolutely. So, that's all I got to say on that front. I got no other words to say. Um, I'm just pooped now. I'm I'm done. (laughs) So now the real question is, what do we do for, uh, what do we do next? Well, I think it's up to you, KG. Is this a no or is a, it's a, it's journey. So no. (sighs) Or is it a yes? I will say this. If you vote no. There's going to be one guy who's going to get overwhelmingly a lot of points. Only one person voted no. Let me see. Who was the one? (laughs) No, actually, there are six voters, it says here. Fire Fire Snipes is the person who voted. What are you saying? Please. My man cashed out only 300 points, though. And everybody cashed out how much money? 35,000 in yes and 7,000 in journey, so no. Everything to the Alon episode. Oh. oh. (laughs) My poor guy. He he lost it all. (laughs) I used those points on the cookie stream. (laughs) Oh, lordy. First, okay, I, I finally thought it through. I, I legitimately have an answer for this. As much as I criticize it being relating to journeys, so no kind of thing, I still once again agree with it just simply being no. I just dislike this episode for its placement. Not because it's journeys. Journeys would imply that I hate it for whatever it is, what it's doing, right? Um, but this one is it's just sort of dare. Uh, so I, I, I really like aspects about this episode. I really do. And I'm not going to deny that. And I don't want to, uh, and I don't want to neglect that and tie it into the journey. So no, so I might, in my opinion, to whoever voted in the no, (laughs) I might legitimately vote for no. So whoever voted no, that is my response. I, I genuinely believe it's, while it is something, man, it's so weird. I feel like I have to find a loophole and shit just to, uh, to differentiate between journey. So no, and just no. (laughs) Well, congratulations, Fire Snipes 25. You just received. <laughs> oh my god! Three thousand points. Good, good. Oh. <laughs> my man is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it says your forty-two thousand will go to Robo the Pirate and five others. <laughs> Congratulations, y'all! Y'all came out through in the end. You guys are amazing. All right. So, with that said and done, I personally feel tonight's session was a smashing success all out. Thank you guys so much for joining me throughout the Scarlet and Violet shenanigans. Uh, That was great. Thank you guys for helping me with the six-star raids. You guys were amazing for that. 
and to all the people who hosted all the various uh, six star raids to allow me to participate in it sincerely you have my thanks on that it was a lot of fun um and i'm gonna continue probably playing more of scarlet and violet in the background now that i got these cool pokemon i want to see what i could do with them so yeah uh it's gonna be a great time so with that being said i'm done with this thank you guys so much for your support uh thank you to cosmic and thank you to emmy uh for assisting me with tonight's session as always always appreciate no it and uh, you guys can actually hear us this time for real in our review of this episode on monday like we're we're no longer in the project mid phase no more so we can finally start talking about pokemon again so don't worry Yay. guys we're, we're finally back to it and 169.5 yeah it's still 169.5 Yay! The Decimal Saga! Yay! Yeah, the, the Decimal <laughs> Saga will never die. It'll it'll probably die though by uh, November twenty sixth. Uh, not November twenty sixth. December twenty sixth. <laughs> <laughs> by December twenty sixth, it should be done because uh, a lot of the ideas we have, we are literally saving it for the new year. It would be weird to just sort of not do anything about that until the end of the year. So, final year, we're gonna do the final session. So yeah. Regardless of what the hell happens. So we hope you guys enjoy and look forward to the shenanigans coming on ahead. Um, but with that being said, I'm done. And we're good, right? Anything we need to bring up? Uh, well, we got a raid, so yes, oh. TSS is on. Let's see. Uh, where yes, he is. He is. And Michelle Knotts is playing The Last of Us. Yeah, but it's the last of us, so no. I'd rather Yeah. Put, yeah. They they beat Animal Crossing. We don't we don't support. Nah. Mm, damn. damn, we don't listen, Michelle Knotts, you have so much power in you. But Animal Crossing no. <laughs> <laughs> Until then everybody, thanks again for coming on through. We hope you guys enjoyed tonight's session. Uh if you haven't yet, make sure to follow us here on Twitch if you would like to be notified whenever we do more live reactions, all that good stuff in between. And we'll talk with all you lovelies later in whatever video we make. Take care everyone and as always have yourselves a wonderful night. Take care everybody. Bye bye. Night. And Dunzo. I hope. Hello everyone! Go here! Thanks for watching the Pokemon Post Discussions episode. If you want to see more episodes, then subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss out on a new episode. As always, the future's in the palm of your hand. And happy monstering!